Yo, what's going on YouTube? A couple videos ago, I mentioned that I wanted to do a Q&A, so here we are, welcome to the Q&A. And I want to start off with a question that I was actually going to answer last night. I ended up going to a DC United game last night, and I was going to film my intro there, but long story short, it was like monsoon season last night, like we got soaked. But anyways, it goes right along with the first question that I wanted to answer, my boy De DeAndre Reeves, and he asked, what is your favorite sport slash sports team? And if you guys didn't know already, my favorite sport is soccer. That's the only sport I played. I played it in high school and played it since I was like fifth, sixth grade. Um, yeah, so soccer, my favorite sports team. Um, we were at a DC United game last night. That's not my favorite team. Um, my favorite team is actually Barcelona, FC Barcelona. Um, other sports that I like, I like football, I like basketball, um, I'm a Ravens fan, and I'm also a Celtics fan. Anyways, um, yeah, I wanted to start this Q&A by just answering a question right off the bat. Damn, police, police is up here. Oh, anyways. The intro is a little bit lame, I know. <laughs> We're on our way to the gym right now, so I figure I'm gonna answer another question. Let's see what we got here. Damn, I had it pulled up, what happened? Oh, this one's funny. So, my boy Jay Molinaro, he asks, uh, damn, I don't have my mic on. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I don't have my mic on my camera right now. Anyways, my boy Jay Molinaro, he asks what my thoughts on the Space Force are. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> My thoughts on the Space Force is, um, I heard about it, right, and I thought it was a joke. Like, that's just me being real. Like, what do you think, Karen? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a joke until we got the official email talking about it actually, like... Oh, wait, for real? Being a thing, yeah. Wait, you got an email? Yeah. What did it say? What did it say? I don't know. I didn't really read it. I was like, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> My initial reaction, I thought it was a joke. Now, I'm not really too well informed on it. Um, to me, it just seems like, like what is it gonna be like, we're astronauts or something? Like, that's kind of why it's like funny to me, but I'm also not informed on it either. So, it could be really cool, who knows? To me, it just seems like it's kind of far off, like it's something that's gonna happen like way in the future. But, yeah, Karen said she received a, an official Air Force email about it. So, I'm gonna have to do some research and I might do a full video on that. Someone was asking me, how can they improve their pull-ups? So, we're gonna talk about that when we get to the gym. See you guys later. Luckily, my ex ugly. I don't eat so she can't get no lunch with me. I don't reach so she can't get in touch with me. Can't be buds with me, don't know what- I need more reps there. Ha ha ha. Alright, so the question was, how can you improve your pull-ups? And I'm gonna show you that really quickly. I should have Karen uh, showing you guys because as you guys can see, her pull-ups are a little bit better than mine. But anyways, if you guys weren't aware, the main muscle group in pull-ups is gonna be your back or your lats. So yeah, the main exercise I like to do is lat pull-downs. So before we get started, I like to keep it anywhere from eight to 12 reps. And uh, focus on getting like a good squeeze of your shoulder blades. Um, I don't want to get too, too in depth in this video on like the form and everything, but yeah, lat pull downs. I'll demonstrate it really quickly. If you guys want more in depth <laughs> on how to do like back exercises, 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 comment down below and I'll do a full video on it. But for the sake of the Q&A, we're going to move through this pretty quickly. Today I miss my workout, but it worked out. Now I'm missing work now, but it And aside out. from the lat pull downs, this is literally a assisted pull up machine. So the whole idea behind doing lat pull downs and doing this assisted pull up machine is where you're doing the same movement, but you're just doing it at, at less of a weight. So what you want to do is increase the reps, or sorry, you want to increase the weight that you can do over time, because essentially all a pull up is, is doing a lat pull down or an assisted pull up with your body weight. So if you're not able to do a pull up yet, it just means that you're not able to pull your, your full weight yet. So that's the, the beauty of the assisted pull up machine or the lat pull downs, is you can adjust the weight accordingly and you can do less weight until you actually strengthen your back enough to do your pull up. So I'll show you this really quickly. But the assisted pull ups, 
the more weight you put on is the more assistance it's giving you. So to make it pretty easy, just put more weight and kind of play around with it and see what's challenging. You want to keep it challenging and keep it between 8 to 12 reps and like 3 to 4 sets. That shit might hurt now, but I'm with her now. Don't need no shirt now, just keep the shirt now. Sorry you were led to believe, bunch of different stories I was never to be. No, you isn't a <laughs> Thank you, babe. All right, y'all, so that's how you can improve your pull-ups. Right now, I'm about to do some sprints with my boy, Zach. Zach. <laughs> I'm gonna do some sprints with Zach right now. Um, I recorded some the other day. We're kind of a little bit of a time crunch right now, so I'm gonna replay those sprints from last week. But yeah, we're gonna knock the sprints out. As I said in my previous video, I'm trying to increase my run, so that's what we're doing right now. Stay down with no faking. Go up, top down, I'm in racing. Go up, she wild, I'm in dangerous. Go up, my crowd in rotation, yeah! yeah. All right, guys, so we're here in Walmart picking up some groceries, just like little things that we needed. Anyways, I'm gonna get through some questions before I call it a night tonight. Lil Moat asks, I see you've been on God of War, what are your favorite games? Awesome question. I've been on like my, a video game kick lately. I'm playing, I am playing the newest God of War. I've played all the God of Wars previous to that. Probably favorite series, probably Nintendo, I wanna say Metroid Prime, and also all the Metal Gear Solid games, all sick. Um, except for five, five was garbage. It wasn't even a finished game. But uh, yeah, Metroid, I think Metroid Prime has to be like my favorite series. I, I grew up with Nintendo. Absolutely love Metroid Prime. That's a first person Metroid game. All right, I'm gonna start nerding out over that. Of course, Mario 64. I grew up with the N64. So yeah, honorable mentions. I like a lot of like Nintendo stuff, Super Smash Brothers. I believe in long distance love. God does above. Born and so strong, can't let y'all ball head up. So we just got out of a Mission Impossible Fallout. I believe it's like the sixth one in the series. And honestly, I don't know if it's just because I'm on like fresh out. I think I think I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. Like, you don't think so? Karen shaking her head behind the camera. I I right now, honestly, it's like my favorite. I think I like it a little bit better than uh, Ghost Protocol. I think Karen disagrees with me right now. Um, yeah, it's a very good movie, action, the stunts were crazy, cinematography, like across the board. I couldn't, there was really nothing I didn't like about the movie. Um, maybe I have to watch Ghost Protocol again, but it's like right neck and neck. They're very different, the tones are very different. This one's like a lot darker, and I like that. Um, characters were good, I, I liked it across the board. I know a lot of people, are iffy about Tom Cruise, like he's weird, like Scientology and all that, but I like his movies, I respect him as uh, an actor, and he makes great movies. I don't really care too much about like what he does with his personal life. But anyways, that's besides the point, I'm gonna answer some more questions real quick. My boy Joseph F, he asks, how do you deal with willpower? What keeps you motivated, and what are some what is some advice you would give someone? All right, well, let's just stick with that one. What keeps me motivated and how to deal with willpower? I want like when people think of me when I'm like dead, gone. Uh, I want people to like, when they talk about me, they think about like good things that I did, like the message I was trying to spread. And <laughs> not trying to get like super deep on you, but like honestly that's, I just want when like my name is spoken, when I'm not around, it's positive things that are said about me. Not because I care so much about what people think, because I really don't. Um, but I guess I do at the same time. It's it's weird. It's almost like I don't care what people think about me. Like I'm out here. There's people probably looking at me filming right now. I don't give a shit about that. But I care about the way that the people care that who care about me perceive me, and that's that's important to me. Um, is how I, how I'm viewed by the people who I, who I care about. Uh, so I guess I do in some ways care about what people think about me. But yeah, I got super deep on you guys there. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna answer one more question. What advice would you give to new airmen? I think the biggest piece of advice would be to one, try to make connections with people, and two, just take advantage of all the benefits that there are, like military-wise, like there's so much stuff. Um, think about your retirement plan. Like I'm starting to think about that more and more. Um, I don't know if I'm doing 20. Look into the thrift savings plan. Um, the blender retirement system like yeah military is going through some like uh, transition too so yeah definitely pay attention to like the benefits that you 
that are offered to you um, because for people who join after this is filmed, it's going to be different for me than what it is for you guys who join later on. So definitely ask questions. But yeah, we're going to go home. I think I'm going to edit a little bit and then we're going to continue the video a little bit. I got a lot of questions, so I, this, this video is probably going to be on the longer side. Uh, what's going on, guys? So we're back at our place right now. We're going to get Karen right now to answer some last uh, few questions and then we'll close this video out. Video is already pretty long, but uh, there's a ton of questions, so I at least want to answer like the majority of your guys' questions. So let's get to it. This question is from Stephanie Acosta. Acosta. My qu <laughs> my question is: Would you and Karen <laughs> consider doing a couples channel? <laughs> Um, I've never thought about it actually. Um, I'm like, Karen. oh wow, she's shaking her head. I don't already. think I don't know. Yeah, she's not down. She's obviously not down. Uh, um, I never thought about it either. I wouldn't. Yeah, know. and I mean, I don't know. Let us know what kind of content you would like to see from us. But at the moment, um, I don't yeah. know. We both have a channel. We both put out different videos. <laughs> if you have anything in particular you'd want to see, comment down below. But neither of us have given it much thought. And, yeah, she doesn't really like me, so I guess it's not gonna happen. <laughs> All right, so yeah, so there's that. Um, my boy Matt Lee Fit. He said, "What is something you've always wanted to try, but have been too scared to?" That's a good question, man. That's actually a hard question. There's some things I haven't done, but it's not. It's not that I've been too scared to try them. It's just like I haven't gotten the opportunity to try them. Um, yeah, that's like the big thing. <laughs> She's gone skydiving. I wanted to go so bad. We're supposed to go when we're in Hawaii. I've mentioned this before, but we haven't gone yet. It's gonna happen. But that's one thing that I I've never done that I've always wanted to do. And I'll probably be a little scared, like once I'm up in the plane, and just like anticipation and stuff. But it's gonna happen, like hundred percent. What about the question? You had anything? Um. Oh, so you know how you jumped off of Waimea's? The cliff jump. Yeah, the cliff jump. Yeah. So I'm scared to jump off into the ocean, uh, but in like if I go hiking and there's like a lake or a pond or whatever, like a spring, I'll jump into it no problem. I want to do that. It was pretty fun. It was that is something I'm. Scared it was of high though. Do. It was pretty scary. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. What was your best slash worst BMT experience? <sighs> this person asked a lot of questions. What are your plans? <laughs> Would you finish your contract? Biggest tip for BMT. Ooh, this is the same person asked if you could choose a different AFSC, what would it be? And this is all from King Human Jr. I'll start with my, my, my worst BMT experience. Um, it's actually pretty funny. I mean, I've had a lot of bad ones, but this is one like that I haven't shared yet. Um, it was actually like one day before, and I think it was it had to be it was like super late in the training because we were getting our blues ready. It takes you a while to like even get blues. I think you don't get them until like the fifth week or something, right? Yeah, like fourth or fifth. Fourth week. or fifth week. They so it, I'd been at BMT for a while, and uh, I remember I like forgot something. And what I would always do is I would either do everything that I had to do the night before. I still do this actually. Is I prepare everything I have to do the night before because I'm super slow in the morning, and I just want to get like I want to maximize the amount of sleep that I get. <laughs> So like I literally, if I have something to do early in the morning, I get everything prepared the night before, and uh, I, I I was laying in bed and I something occurred to me like I forgot something to like to my blues. I had to do something to my blues. I can't remember what it was. It might have been like um, ribbons or something. But I was like getting my blues ready, and randomly one of your Land MTIs guys. came in through the back door. So they would come into the dorms like late at night sometimes to like check on people. And of course it's when I'm like getting my stuff ready and you're not supposed to be out of bed after like a certain, I think it was like nine o'clock, 9 p.m. Um, <laughs> so here comes her MTI out of nowhere and like my, I'm like two bunks over from the back door and I'm like a deer in the headlights. This dude just like slams the door open and I'm just like, I'm, I'm, I'm screwed. Like this is, <laughs> I'm screwed. And I, uh, I got my 341 pool. You remember, what, you remember 341s? Yeah. <laughs> that was my only 341. So like basically when you're at BMT, um, if you do something wrong, it's like little paperwork. It's like a little, 
it's so weird. It's like that doesn't count. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really count towards anything. I mean, if you get too many like in BMT, it could neg- negatively affect you. Uh, negatively affect you. Um, but that was like my only like time really getting in trouble, and it was because I was trying to be on top of my stuff. So, but yeah, that that was pretty funny. <laughs> I like a lot of people were like messing with me the next day. They're like, "Yeah, we heard you guys." It, it was it was funny. It ended up being funny, but at the time I was like scared, hell scared, because like you're in BMT and it's like you just don't want to do anything wrong. So that was pretty funny. Um, and my best experience was like something really small, but um, every time like you'd march everywhere in BMT, and there was like a little overpass that we would go over every morning, and for some reason like we would go like super early in the morning, and. Uh, I don't know, I just always liked going over the overpass because it would be like, sometimes it would be like in the morning, sunset, sunset or like sunrise, and I would just be marching, we'd be marching, and I was just thinking to myself, this is awesome. I don't know, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just a different moment that not a lot of people get to experience. Exactly, it's a very unique moment, and it was just, it's just special, just the little things. It's like one of those times where you just kind of stop and you like embrace the situation that you're in even though at the time it's kind of like a shitty situation but it's just like you can find like it's almost like finding the beauty in like a bad situation ben cabrera asked if you sign for a contract for four or six years and you finish the contract are you st- are you still able to continue or move out is it like a decision Oh, I guess he's asking, like, after your contract, are you able oh. to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, you can re-enlist. Um, yeah, you can re-enlist or you can get out um, after your contract. So you're only obligated to fill that contract, and from there, it's completely up to you what you want to do. You're able to get out or you can re-enlist. Also, the last question that I forgot to answer, there's a second part of it. He asked, like, if uh, you could choose a different AFSC. What would oh. Be? Um, mine would be... Um, there's like a photo journalism and also like a video like video broadcast they kind of go hand in hand but it's like um, public affairs type stuff and they do like a lot of like photo and and videography I definitely want to do that and uh, I'm low-key thinking about cross training so I'll keep you guys updated (laughs) with that but uh, yeah I might cross train so that's a thing that I'm thinking about just so you guys know (laughs) <laughs> there you go. Mine, oh my gosh. If I could choose any AFSC. Originally, I had two choices that I really wanted. One was the linguist. So pretty much you learn another language, you can speak it thoroughly and everything. You're pretty much a translator for the military. That was one. I love language, so that was one. And then another one was PJ. Oh, damn. Or yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, you told Like me. a special, I really wanted to be in a spec ops Pararescue. Yeah, pararescue or um, Sears. I really wanted to be in a spec Just Sears. Yeah. yeah. Not the store. <laughs> it's like survival. Yeah, it's a survival. Expert, basically. Yeah. So that's like, she's talking about like. Some, that's like the hard. Hardcore stuff. Jobs. Because you're like combat jobs. That's, that's what I expected when I joined the military. You know? Yeah, like, that's like combat. what a lot of people like, That's what I wanted, to. but I'm, I'm happy with where I'm at right now too. Yeah. So. That's, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that was the video. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs> Are you on 10 yet? Are you on 10 yet? Wait.